How green could you build a modern composite boat? Could you build it out of plant-based materials? Well, a German company thinks you can. The Flax 27 is a classically styled but modern 27-foot day sailor. She was designed by Judel Rolick and she's gorgeous. But she's got a very interesting backstory. This is a boat that is made out of, you've guessed it, flax. Even her epoxy resin is plant-based. So I caught up with the builder of this boat at the recent Dusseldorf Boat Show. My name is uh, Friedrich Daimann and I'm founder of the company Green Boats. And um, yeah, we actually focused on building as green as possible um, yeah, composites without losing um, yeah, properties. The boat is um, a Judel and Frolic design. And um, the special on this boat is um, it's entirely made from uh, linen fiber. So like we replace the glass fiber um, with uh, linen fibers, so natural fiber. Um, we uh, use uh, recycled uh, PET on this one as a core material and um, we infuse this boat like we do is a vacuum infusion um, with uh, green epoxy resins um, so these resins are based on plant oil instead of petrochemical oils. Now you've got some examples here of the raw materials that you use including the Tell us a bit about this, because you just mentioned the resins there, and the, exactly. even the resin is very different, isn't it? Exactly. So we have the linen fiber. It's like just a fiber like growing on the acre. Um, we have um, the linen seeds, and um, the linen seeds are the base of the of the oil we um, we use, uh, like of the epoxy resin we use. So um, yeah, just. Um, uh, multi-purpose uh, fiber material or plant. And what about this, the, the woven material you've got here? Tell me a little bit about about this, because this forms really the. So that is the uh, that is the uh, yeah, structural material like that we use instead of the glass fiber. That is a woven uh, linen fiber, and um, yeah, it got um, comparable strength to the glass fiber laminates, and it yeah got half the weight of the glass fiber. And we get like, um, yeah, similar optic to the carbon fiber, but um, yeah, still like more a natural look. How does this compare when you've built the finished boat? How does it compare weight-wise to one that you would have built out of glass fiber and epoxy? So we calculate that we saved on this one um, around uh, 70 kilo. Okay, so it's lighter than the It is lighter the than, the, than the glass fiber version. And um, yes, yeah, so it's really like a comparable material. And I noticed that the deck looks like it's cork rather than teak. Exactly. So on this one, we used uh, the recycled cork. And it's actually like really nice because it's um, yeah, a warm material. It's um, half the weight of, uh, of the teak deck and um, it's very non-skid uh, still when it's wet um, it's insulation as well as like, like insulating um, and yeah how long does so. it last because it's quite a soft material isn't it yeah it seems to be soft because it's just like if you'd like compress it it comes back again and if you like maybe have a stone or something and press it into the in the decking it just comes back again it's not destroyed so first look it, it seems to be like maybe not as long lasting and there are actually around uh, a lot of like cork materials that are, they are really not really long long lasting because they use um, yeah not uh, not the right glues that you can use on a, on a boat decking um, because it's a cork granulate um, that gets like um, yeah pressed and, and glued together with some sometimes just polyurethane glue and then it takes water so it really needs to be the right cork. Mm. And so what led you to do this then? What led you to build this style of a boat? It's actually um, I um, 
I'm a boat builder in profession, and um, I yeah started actually to build wooden boats. And um, after my apprentice as a wooden boat builder, I worked for a company where they're just like building mega yacht tender. And um, of course, I was actually really impressed of the composite building. I was just really like pissed off about the materials because they were like so itchy on the skins and the resin were so smelly. Um, so I actually started to do a lot of research to find uh, comparable materials uh, to the glass fiber um, and I just tried to combine the best of the two ways of building. So um, after my research, I found like the, the flux fiber um, as a reinf uh, reinforcement material. Um, we use like as well like cork as a core material because it's like very um, nice for vibration absorption, insulation, and uh, as well if, uh, shock absorption. Um, then I found out about um, like this recycled um, plastic bottle core material because it's like very lightweight and got nice uh, compressive strengths. And um, yeah, so I really tried to combine like nice, um, nice natural materials because it's a lot nicer to work with them. And um, I actually, yeah. I have like a lot like uh, environmental friendly a, lo a lot more environmental friendly material um, because um, for the production of glass fiber you need five times as much energy um, as a linen fiber that just like grows on the acre and uh, saves uh, CO2. How does this boat compare cost-wise? Is it more expensive than a conventional boat? If you are building in, um, in like vacuum infusion uh, with a high standard, um, it's actually um, the same way to produce. Um, and you have like a bit more material cost. It's actually like around 20 to 30 percent extra cost for the materials. But I think it's um, just nothing if you see how much hours in a product like that yeah the labor okay. cost is exactly. going to be far higher isn't it exactly. it's interesting yeah. so is this do you think that i mean this is is this the way to go is this where we're going to see production building going in the future is there any reason why this shouldn't be the way for boat building to go um i actually don't see any reasons um, because i think okay you still have um parts where you really need like carbon fiber because um, you wouldn't um, yeah we are not comparing or uh, competitive um, with the flex fiber you like on, on a part where you really need carbon fiber um, but it's actually the way and um, we doing like some projects with recycled um, long carbon fibers and um, that is going to be very interesting as well and another project where we're working on is modified natural fibers so you get strengths that are like even higher than the strengths of the glass fiber like more into the direction of the carbon fiber so i think really think um, it's maybe just the start i, I think that because um, mm -hmm. everything is like going to be like better and better as well the resin system i think Pretty much in two years, you are able to have a resin system that's like 100% bio-based. Um, so on this boat, the boat is like 80% from renewable, regrowing or recycled materials. Um, so you have a really small footprint and yeah, you are able to, to um, recycle it um, chemical. Well, it's a beautiful looking boat and it's a fascinating story. It's, I'd love, love to see another yacht like this, but well done. It looks lovely. Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. You're welcome.